It's not the same. services in the big UK. Big thank you to all you guys who subscribed to his channel. Uh, in today I want to talk to you about the Nissan X-Trail engine. Yes, I've been going on about it for the MP300 and the Mercedes X-Class. Well, I've actually got a, a Nissan X-Trail here today uh, that's just arrived. It's coming with a DPF fault. Now, diesels that don't do a lot of miles with a DPF fault tend to build up uh, an ash content far quicker. And the reason for that is it doesn't do many miles. So if you own a Nissan X-Trail, it's advisable that once, in a, once a week or once every couple of weeks, I want you to put it in the third gear and, flop, and, and keep, you know, get it around the four and a half thousand miles, mark, four and a half thousand RPM mark for about 20 minutes. And that'll help you clear the system out. Now I want to show you something, come here. What I wanted to particularly show you about this X-Trail engine is it's sat transverse, not like with the Navara. So it's actually, you can actually work on it. Now come and have a look at this. Now one of the dead giveaway signs to me are, very look, because it's sat transverse, there's the vacuum pump and down there is the fuel pump. If that were the Navara, that'd be slap on the bulkhead and you'd have no way of moving, being able to uh, remove that fuel pump if you had a fuel pump issue. But what's the dead, dead giveaway and what I keep going on about with Nissan and their timing is you, if you have a look at the timing plate down here, see where my fingers are here, this timing plate cover there, absolutely identical to the MP300. So it's going back to what I was telling you about with a two litre engine with uh, a 2.3 and a three and a half tonne torque capacity, yet this has only got two tonne torque capacity because the chain's not going to handle it. So. I just wanted to prove that fact to you. So thanks for watching, come again, subscribe for more.